Well, good morning, Cornerstone Church. Uh, this is day four of our 14 days of praying and fasting, and I'm just getting back from the prayer meeting that we had at the church tonight and kind of settling in here at the house, and I'm just so thankful for uh, tonight. I mean, uh, to see that room just full of people and to hear the prayers uh, of our church, I mean, it just it just shows that like God is amongst us. I mean, that we are uh, turning more into a house of prayer by the Spirit of God. I'm just so thankful for that, and thankful that we have a church that cares. I mean, you would you would show up to pray tonight because you believe in the power of prayer. You believe that God really hears our prayers and He answers those prayers, but also because um, you, you love our church and you want to see God's will be done uh, in our church. And so, just really thankful for that. And uh, I'm going to pivot a little bit for what I was going to be praying uh, this morning. We'll pray that uh, tomorrow, but was just thinking about how, how well Brandy led our prayer meeting uh, last night and how she organized that and how she, she had us pray through the acronym PRAY, uh, P being praise, like she encouraged us to thank God for um, something that he's done in Cornerstone, something that we're praising him for in our own personal lives, in our church, R being repentance, that we um, we would that we ask God to create a clean heart in us as he renews the right spirit in us. And we want to have clean hearts before the Lord as we seek him in prayer. And um, A, be an ask that, it, you know, Jesus promises, ask, ask, and they'll be given to you. Seek and you will find. And so um, she encourages us to ask, lay our hearts before him and ask him for things. Um, and then lastly um, was the letter Y, uh, which is for yield, which is just surrender that ultimately uh, we pray all these things with with open hands uh, to the Lord in full and complete surrender to Him, uh, trusting His sovereign will, His purposes for our church. And so I want to encourage you, if you didn't make it to the prayer le- meeting last night, that you might today just pray through that acronym, pray. Praise God for what He's doing. Repent in your own heart any sin that you have, any wrong motivations that you might have in your own heart. Ask, ask God to do great things in your life and in the life of the church and the city. Uh, and then why yield? Ultimately, pray all these things with open hands before the before the Lord, yielding and complete surrender to what he has planned, what he has in store for your life uh, and, and for our life as a church. So I'm just going to kind of pray through uh, that right now um, for us and hope that you'll join me in this prayer today. Father, we we come before you this morning, just really thankful. God, you have or are in the process of, I don't think we've arrived, but you are turning us and growing us as a church into a house of prayer. Um, Lord, to see that many people show up to a, a Wednesday night prayer meeting, it so blesses my heart, such an encouragement. But it, even more than me, I pray that those prayers are just incense to you, a pleasing aroma uh, to you, Father, that you received all of those prayers. And uh, I believe that you heard them and you will answer them. And God, I do praise you, praise you for what you've done uh, in our church over the last seven years, how you have sustained us, how you have increased the faith um, of, of everyone that calls Cornerstone Church home, how you have uh, made disciples, how you have increased our hearts and desire for mission, and um, you've raised up leaders. You've done such an amazing work in and through our church that we praise you for. And, and God, we repent. We, 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 we lay our hearts out before you this morning, and we just... Just ask that you would reveal to us any areas of our heart that are impure, that are unholy before you, Lord. Show us our sin before you. Give us the grace and the power of your spirit to repent and to turn from those sins. God, I pray specifically with this building project, if there's anything in our hearts that is unwise or unholy or um, we're just not hearing from you correctly, Lord, that you would redirect us. You would reveal that to us. We do not want to get in front of you. We do not want to move apart from you. We want to, to solely and only seek your face and seek your will and follow your leading. So God, would you do that? And God, we ask, Lord, we do ask that you would give us wisdom. Lord, we do ask that if it is your will that we we build this building and we um, just have this more space to reach more people with the gospel, God, that that you would provide all that we need. God, that you would give us as a church unity in this, and, and unity being just no divisiveness over this, no dissension within the church, that we would just 
all rally around first things and what's most important, which is Jesus and his mission in our church. And so, God, we ask for that. Uh, we ask that you would lead us and guide us. And and, and we, we yield to you. We, we ultimately surrender to your will. Your will be done. We don't want to do our wills. We want your will to be done. And so, God, we trust you. We follow you. Uh, we exult in you. God, we are completely surrendered to whatever you want to do. And so, God, if 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 we're hearing you wrong, again, if, we've, if somewhere we've, we've misstepped and we're not hearing you correctly, God, I pray that you would shut it down as you've done before. You've shut down many different ideas and many different thoughts that we had and directions that we were moving towards. And you, you close those doors. It feels like you're opening uh, this door for us. And so, God, we just want to be surrendered, following you wherever you will. Thank you for this church. Thank you for their hearts that love you. God, we pray you pour out your spirit upon us. It's in Jesus' name that I pray. Amen. Amen. Hey, church, have a great day. Uh, I love you so much, um, and we'll talk to you tomorrow morning.